if you're shopping with somebody and they say, does this thing make me look fat? Say whatever you want to say. Sure! Be like, no, you don't look fat, but all the money that you owe me makes you look like you owe me a lot of money. All right, actually, all the money that you owe me makes me look like a sucker. I can say it. I'm a chump. But all the money that you spend on clothes makes you look like the kind of person who could pay me back. All I'm saying is, if someone wants to talk about whether or not they're fat, you can talk about whatever it is you need to talk about. Hi, I'm Eudora, and this is the second Fashion What Ifs video. If you haven't already, go back and watch the first video. We spoke to Prince. We did it. We did. We spoke to Prince, and who can prove that we didn't? Okay, well, who cares if it wasn't really Prince? Today's first question is from Malia Obama. Aha! It's not. Malia Obama says... What if I want to wear high heels, but I hate them so much, I wish they would die? Good question, Malia Obama. So it seems to me like you want to wear high heels that won't hurt your feet. And we can solve this problem. But first, I just want to say, I hope that you never feel like you have to wear high heels, Malia. You need to think about the big picture. You only have so much time on Earth. You don't want to look back on your life and think about all the years that you spent wearing heels when you could have been wearing Jordans. Honestly, if I can be honest with you, Malia, I got a little teary-eyed thinking about all the Jordans I'll never get to wear after I die. But anyway, you want heels that won't hurt your feet. My advice is this. Before you buy your next pair of high-heeled shoes, ask yourself five questions. Question one. What is the shoe made of? Leather, patent leather, the sharp end of a poking stick. No, you'd never be so stupid. For the most part, just try to avoid stiff materials um, in a high-heeled shoe. So you should stick to suede heels or Jordans the sneaker. Question two. How wide is the heel? A lot of times the width of the heel actually matters more than the height of it. So just remember, um, a wider, chunkier heel means it's easier to walk in, and you can always dunk in Air Jordans. Question three. Is the pitch of the shoe very steep? The pitch of the shoe is the way it slopes from the heel to the toe. So the steeper it is, the more uncomfortable it'll be, and yeah, the more like level it is, then the easier it is to stand in. So just remember, it's harder to stand in shoes with a steep pitch, and it's easier to catch rebounds in Jordans. Question four. There is no question four or five. If you have to ask yourself more than three questions about a shoe, don't, don't buy that shoe. Buy a Jordan. I have never asked myself a single question about a pair of Jordans. Okay, so that's my advice about high-heeled shoes. But it looks like we have some uh, follow-up questions about high-heeled shoes. What if I already bought a pair of high-heeled shoes? They should still die, right? Malia. What if I'm purposely buying high-heeled shoes just to watch them die? What if I'm slowly dipping my high-heeled shoes into big boiling pots of water? Oh my, Malia. What if I built two little guillotines because shoes come in pairs? Malia. What if I'm feeding my high-heeled shoes to the wolves? What if the wolves won't go away and I have a wolf problem now? See, so that's just another one of those big life picture things. One moment you're walking around in your Jordans, you don't know how good you have it, and then the next moment you have a wolf problem. 